In the last video, we introduced uh, and generalized the idea of the moment of a probability distribution and also introduced the central moments, uh, which are uh, the moments about the mean of a distribution. We also talked about the second central moment of the variance of a distribution as given, given the uh, relative spread of the observations from the mean. In this video, I'd like to introduce two other important moments. The first one is called the skewness. It's typically denoted by the letter gamma. And this is given by the expectation value of uh, essentially the third central moment divided by uh, our standard deviation. Or perhaps in a less complicated way, if you go through uh, similar steps that we did for the, the variance, you can also show that this is equivalent to evaluating the third moment minus three times the mean times the variance, minus the mean cubed, divided by sigma cubed. And what this Qness tells you is it gives you a measure of the symmetry of a probability distribution about the mean. So as a graphical example, if you look at, let's say your probability uh, distribution has a shape like that. So this could be X, this is your probability density function. So this would be a symmetric distribution for which the skewness would be zero. If you had a distribution that looked like that, so this is, it's symmetric because uh, the mean is equal to the mode, which is also equal to a quantity called the median. This one is a distribution that has positive skewness. So here you have the mode over here, the median might be over here, and the mean is shifted even further to the right. Analogously, you can also have something like that, where this is uh, we wrote positive twice here, so this is positive skewness, this is negative skewness. And now you have your mode over here, the median and the mean. Okay, so the skewness tells you whether you have a symmetrical distribution, something that's leaning to the left or something that's leaning more to the right. And then the final moment that I'd like to introduce is called the kurtosis. 
This is typically denoted by letter kappa. This is the fourth central moment normalized by the standard deviation. And this gives you a measure of uh, how frequent extreme deviations from the mean are likely to occur. And this is often calculated relative to uh, a probability distribution known as the Gaussian or normal distribution, which we'll see in, in a later video. And with that, I'd like to leave you with an example for you to try. I'd like you to try to calculate the skewness and kurtosis of the one as electron of the position of the one as electron in hydrogen. And then make a plot of the PDF or the probability density function and see if you observe this kind of behavior depending on what value you find for this skewness and uh, and yeah, and see if it confirms what you would expect it to be, whether it's positive, negative, or, or zero. So that concludes our overview of probability theory. In the next few videos, we're going to go through some uh, particular probability distributions that come up a lot in applications and in particular in physics. And uh, starting out with, uh, what's known as the binomial distribution.